look at uh, Santa from Turtle Top. Like when we get there, a common one is if I'm inside Turtle Top and Crippy wins the underhook, he'll come up. And obviously from here, he's probably looking for the single leg. It's going to take me over from that position. Yes. So the second we come up, first thing I'm thinking about is sprawling on him. He wants control of my right hip, my right knee. If I stay on my knees, he's gonna take me down. So I'm just sprawling and putting hip pressure on him. From there, we open up the lapel. It's the same stuff. We find the left lapel. Right hand's already underneath his armpit. And I'm gonna pass the lapel from my left hand to my right hand. Once I'm there, I'm going to cut an angle back towards Crippy's left side, and my left hand comes back and re grabs it, but not under the armpit. It's coming over Crippy's left shoulder. So there's the grip I want there. I still put weight on him, and now my free right hand is just going to find the lapel like a rope. I bring it down. defense is to roll onto his right side, I just go with him. Again. So, from our position. I'm in side control with the cross face, Krippy wins the underhook and gets to his knees. If I stay on my knees, I'm going to get took over. So I just sprawl and put my right hip on Krippy's left shoulder. And I stay heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Up the Pass it over his left shoulder, and my right hand is under here waiting for it. Uh, sometimes what's going to happen is he might defend with his hand, right? <coughs> so he'll, he'll be trying to grab this lapel, if that makes sense. The pass off is the, is the battle. So, a good tip to think about is. When you're passing it off, make sure you have the end of it like this. Don't show any material. Because if there's material and he grabs it, you're just in that bow. So I want this, and I don't actually physically try to pass material to material. I just grab my hand. Okay? The best way to switch it off is lift it up and grab it like that. So I'm here, I come through, I grab my own hand, which is like this, and then I lift it up. I make the grip and then I put an angle back towards his left side and I re grab the lapel only over the left shoulder so it's not coming back onto the arm because I need to bite. So I'm here keeping weight on him, my right hand to the lapel and I bring it down to take the slack out of it. And all I'm doing is connecting my elbows. He fails to the side, I just go with him and I lift my knees off the mat. Once they go over and we're here, and I do that pass off and I find this. Right, I'm just connecting, sorry. I'm just connecting my elbows. He bails to the side, I just go with him. So, from bottom position. So I've sprawled out, I'm going to find this, and I just bring it under and do that. Then I turn it, here, if you're the pad stuck in the belt, just going to leave it at her guitar. Once I make that first initial pass off, I cut the angle back, only now I'm not coming under the armpit, I'm coming in front of the shoulder. Now it's all about taking the slack out of the lapel. So I'm coming up, and I slide it down. Just lift your knees off the mat, you have it. He bends to the side, go with it. And you're north side, you still have it. See, you give a lapel around your neck. Shocks, you get the hung.